The movie begins with a petrified woman being handcuffed by her husband. He puts an iron mask over her face to stop her from speaking and parades her through the streets to punish her. Earlier in the day, the woman saw her husband spy on his daughter in the shower and told him it was inappropriate. Instead of agreeing with her, he tells her it is God's will and slaps her, he then takes off his belt and begins beating her with it. We see the young girl looking on from the bathroom while her mother is viciously attacked by her father. Later that day, the father continues to beat her with a whip in the stables. That evening, the mother comes to see her daughter in bed, her mother hugs her while she cries at the unfortunate situation she finds herself in. Her daughter is very young and thinks her mother is weak and should just leave. The next day, her mother is taken to church with an iron mask while everyone looks on. The priest turns out to be her father, he tells all the worshippers that a woman's job is to serve a man and they should do everything they can to please them. Liz is ashamed of her mother and whispers to her that she feels sorry for her. Her mother begins to cry, unable to take the humiliation any longer, she walks off and suddenly, we see her falling from the ceiling as she hangs herself. As Liz turns around, she sees her mother dead and goes into shock. Upon seeing this, the father gets very angry and begins cursing at his dead wife, he shouts out that she will never to go heaven and she will have to pay in hell for what she has done. Over the next few days, the father's behavior becomes more and more aggressive. One early morning, he wakes up his daughter and tells her that she needs to come to church with him. When they get there, she is horrified to learn that her father wants to marry her, she begins to panic and makes a run for it. Her father quickly grabs her and he puts an iron mask around her face to stop her from screaming. Next, we see him dragging Liz through the mud in the fields totally humiliating her. When they get home, he takes off her clothes and begins to whip her while she stands there in pain. He then proceeds to stroke her neck and that night, he takes advantage of her. Later that night while her father is asleep, Liz finds the courage to escape leaving behind the sheets on the bed covered in blood. Liz is finally free from the years of abuse her father put her through. She and her mother had to put up with years of abuse and were always afraid when they would be attacked next. While running away, she finally collapses from exhaustion. She is picked up by a traveler and wakes up thinking that she has finally escaped her father's clutches. To her horror, she soon realizes that she has been captured by a man who trades women. He takes her to a brothel where she sees many other ladies. All the ladies are dressed up and are seen talking to different men. One evening, she hears loud noises coming from one of the rooms and peeps in, she is mortified by what she sees. The next day in the bar, the room is filled with paying customers and one man in particular starts paying attention to her. He offers a lot of money for and just when she fears the worst. Another prostitute comes to her rescue. She tries to divert his attention and tells him she will do anything he wants. The plan does not go to plan and the man insists that Liz comes as well. Liz is made to watch while the man goes about his business. Suddenly, we see the man get angry and he slaps the woman, upon seeing this, Liz gets very scared and picks up a gun. The man approaches her and clearly wants her, just as he is about to take advantage, we see him fall to the floor, the prostitute shoots him in the head from behind to protect Liz. Next. We see the prostitute being hanged in front of a crowd who stare on in disbelief. Later, we see Liz crying on her bed, she believes that she is responsible for the woman's death. We see the manager walk in and he tells her that this is the way of the world, no woman is above the law regardless of the situation. We then see him approaching Liz and telling her that she needs to get used to the way things work around here fast. He proceeds in stroking her neck which makes her anxious. She realizes she doesn't have much choice and does as he asks. In the next scene, we see Liz has grown up and accepted her new life as a prostitute. On night, one of the ladies disappoints a customer and is taught a lesson by the manager, he cuts out her tongue while Liz stands there horrified. It reminds her of the way her father mistreated her mother. Later we see the prostitute and Liz sitting down trying to learn sign language, Liz feels very guilty and tries to help her as much as possible. She tries to find a way out for her and tries to find someone for her to marry. Her plans works and an old man with a previous child agrees to marry her. One evening when she plans to escape, the manager of the brothel informs them all that they are expecting a very special guest and they must all get washed and dressed up. That evening, 
When Liz comes downstairs to meet the new customer, she is sick to her stomach when she sees her father sitting there. For years, her father looked for her and he was finally able to track her down. He strokes her back and finds two moles she had from birth as she trembles in fear, confirming that it is his daughter. He immediately takes her to a room upstairs and grabs her by the face. He tells her that she is his and will do exactly what he asks. When she refuses, he starts beating her. The other prostitute hears her screams and comes running into the room, as she is confronted by Liz's father, she lashes out and slashes him across the face. The priest becomes enraged by anger and he stabs her as Liz looks on in shock. Liz is absolutely petrified and doesn't know what to do and is worried what her father will do next. When he comes to attack her, she grabs a knife and slashes him across the neck. We see him slump to the floor gasping for breath. Liz quickly puts the knife in his hand and throws a lamp onto the prostitute's dead body. She runs away and decides to marry the old man who the prostitute was supposed to marry. Later, we see her cutting out her own tongue so that everyone believes she is the prostitute. She marries the old man and years go by where she is content and living a normal life. One day while at church, she hears that a new reverend has arrived in town and will be taking the service. To her horror, when she looks up, she sees her father standing there. Liz cannot believe her eyes and somehow her father is still alive. One evening while Liz is in the house, her father turns up and kills her husband. Liz is frightened for her life and while her house burns down, she escapes with her two children late at night on a horse and cart. The weather is freezing cold and heavy fog sets in. As they ride through the forest, their cart comes stuck in the snow and her son goes to investigate. From nowhere, her father is seen hiding in the trees and shoots her son dead. Liz is absolutely devastated but has no choice but to continue with her journey with her daughter. Upon arriving at her father-in-law's house, she informs him that his son has been killed and he breaks down crying. She tells him that the reverend is on the way and they have no time to waste, they gear up with all the guns and ammunition they can find and wait for him. That night while Liz keeps watch, he suddenly appears they begin shooting at each other. Liz quickly runs inside to check on her daughter who is sleeping. When she turns around, she is horrified to find her father-in-law dead hanging on the wall. Liz rushes to collect her daughter and tries to escape from the house as quickly as possible. Unfortunately for her, they are caught by her father and tied up. He tells her that he will do the same things to her daughter as he did to her, he ties her up and begins whipping her. Liz is unable to watch as her daughter cries out for help. Just when her father is about to take advantage of her daughter, Liz breaks her arm and frees herself. When her father turns around, Liz throws a paraffin lamp on him and sets him on fire. She then takes a gun and blasts him in the chest sending him flying through the windows to his death. Sometime later, a new sheriff arrives in town and Liz is arrested for the killing of her father. As she is taken away by the sheriff, she gazes back at her daughter, knowing that she will be okay without her. She falls backwards into the river committing suicide. Liz was unable to live any longer through the suffering and pain and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.